Southport Galleries is kicking off the summer season with a show from featured artist Melissa Barbieri. Melissa has created a Mariner's Dreamscape, and it was obvious at her opening the exhibition was off the charts. My grandmother was an artist in Southport, Connecticut, and she used to take me over to the beach and the harbor here when I was a little girl painting with her. She would be she would be really very touched if she saw my show here. It has a lot of special meaning to me. I always knew I was going to be an artist. I think it's been in my bones since I was born. It was a dream for a long time to do a series of fresco charts and maps that I could show on one wall. Melissa was inspired by early 19th century charts that were commissioned by the Coast Guard and crafted by local printers and engravers. Though they included soundings, coastal hazards, and prominent landmarks, these charts were so much more than just navigational tools. They were works of art. With a blend of rigorous archival study and creative imagination, each of these pieces is unique. They're done in a composite form that's my own imagination. So for instance, in the Connecticut River, it's known for the lime art colony, so I have a little artist in a palette painting. There were Indian tribes up there, the wildlife, the fox, the deer, the bald eagles on the Connecticut River, so it was fun to add all these little details and kind of make it very special. I have a chart of surf spots of Long Island. It's kind of made to look like maybe it was made in the 40s and kind of an edgy piece, but I wanted all the charts to have that old patina to look like they were done in the past and they've been kind of there and you found them. You kind of get pulled into the piece because no matter what, if one chart is hanging there or a whole wall, I'll see a person or people come in and you start looking and pointing and saying, oh, remember when we took the boat there, remember when we traveled there, and no matter if you're conscious of it or not, I see people are drawn into them the same way I have been. The antique look of the charts come from the fresco secco style that Melissa has artfully mastered. It's an ancient technique using such materials as casein, egg tempras, and India ink, painted on an organic plaster. It's a beautiful medium. The finished look is very touchable, very tactile. And in my mind, when I wanted to start the series of all the charts, I envisioned a wall of all these different special places juxtaposed all together. And I wanted to ground it with some really weighty pieces. So something like the compass to me is kind of masculine, the compass rose, an anchor, a chain. I love the thought of that weight of the metal, the stone, and it's done to be sort of a memorial to all the sailors who had been lost at sea and to me the anchor and the sentiment on it has a universal appeal. In addition to her charts, Melissa has created a beautiful oil on canvas. At some point last summer I said, you know, I want to create a really big canvas. I want to break out my oil paints. To me, that smell of oil, there's nothing like it. Oils are very sexy, I think sensual paints, they're luscious, you get these really, really, really deep, dark, vibrant colors, and I couldn't wait to start it, and I wanted to do this big, amorphous, beautiful underwater scene. Southport Galleries is a beautiful place for me for my work because it's a vintage space, flooded with light, so it all kind of adds to the whole overall look of a show for me. But it's a wonderful feeling after all those months of being in my studio painting and having this vision and then to walk into the gallery and see it up is kind of an ending to a long, exhausting process and a great reason to look forward to a party. At the opening, owner Sissy Biggers spoke to us about the impact of Melissa's work in the community. We really appreciated how much the community has supported us and realized that art really matters and making an investment in something that you love really will serve you forever passed on in a family and of course it's been really fun for us to watch people who've never bought art before get the bug so we're, we're thrilled and we seem to keep growing that's the important thing i hope you'll come see us soon because there's really something for every every taste in our gallery thank you so much sis thank you heather